fine students, here we come up with the cutaneous nerve supply of the dorsum of the foot. So, this is the cutaneous nerve supply of the dorsum of the foot and we go with this diagram, lateral border of the foot. Here we draw the fifth, fourth, third, second and the first metatarsal. And then considering the medial border of the foot, this is where we start with the malleoli. These two are the malleoli. So this is the medial, this is the lateral side, dorsum of the foot, cutaneous nerve supply. Here we will draw the nails to signify it is the dorsum, these are the nails. Very interesting the four nerve supply. The four nerves which are related to the cutaneous supply of the dorsum of the foot will be number one. Greater part of the territory is supplied by superficial peroneal nerve, which will supply main portion of the front of the dorsum of the foot. This superficial peroneal nerve will pierce the deep fascia in the lower third of the front of the leg. After piercing the deep fascia, just below the ankle joint, it is going to divide into two branches, medial and lateral branches medial and lateral branch. The name of this, the name, I should mention it as superficial peroneal nerve. It is dividing just below the ankle into two branches, medial and lateral. Each branch, supposing this is the medial branch, each branch will divide into two more branches. The first branch of the medial terminal branch, the medial branch of superficial peroneal nerve will supply cutaneous region of the medial side of the dorsum till the great toe. So medial side of the great toe will be supplied up till the dorsum of the foot and medial side of the great toe is supplied by the branch of medial branch of superficial peroneal nerve. Similarly, another branch will supply the cleft between the second and third toes. So this is first, second, third, fourth and fifth toes dorsum. Cleft between the second and third toes will be supplied by the branch of the medial branch. Which branch? Medial branch of superficial peroneal nerve. What about the lateral branch? This is the medial branch of superficial peroneal nerve, which is dividing into two branches, one which supplies the cutaneous structure on the dorsum of the foot and medial side of the great toe. Another branch which is supplying the cleft between second and third toes. Lateral branch. This is the lateral branch of superficial peroneal nerve. It will also divide into two branches and it will supply the cleft between these two branches is supplying the cleft between third and fourth toes and fourth and fifth toes. So very simple superficial peroneal nerve as it crosses the ankle joint dividing into two branches medial and lateral branch. Each branch is again divided into two branches from the two branches of medial branch one branch is going to supply the skin on the dorsum including that of the hallux or the great toe. Second branch will supply the cleft between second and third toes, dorsum once again. Then <clears throat> lateral branch is again divided into two branches. One branch will supply the cleft between third and fourth and the last branch is supplying the cleft between the fourth and fifth including the dorsum of this region, including the skin of the dorsum of this region. So this area, this territory is totally supplied by superficial peroneal nerve. Second nerve, this is the first superficial peroneal nerve. Second nerve, supplying the cutaneous structure of the dorsum of the foot will be the cleft between, this is the cleft between first and second digit. That is the cleft between the great toe or hallux and second digit. The cleft between the great toe and second digit, second toe is supplied by deep peroneal nerve. So, this structure is deep peroneal nerve, this area, the skin, the cleft between the great toe and second digit will be supplied by deep peroneal nerve. So this is the second nerve which is providing cutaneous sensation to the dorsum of the foot. First is superficial peroneal nerve, second is deep peroneal nerve, the area of territory, the territory which is supplied by deep peroneal nerve will be the cleft between the first and second digit. Third nerve, third nerve will be that which supplies the lateral margin of the dorsum till the fifth toe. This entire nerve will be marked as that of the sural nerve. This is the third 
cutaneous nerve, sural nerve, which supplies the lateral margin of the dorsum along with that of the fifth digit sural nerve. And the fourth one, coming on the medial side, on the medial side, the fourth nerve that supplies the medial margin of the dorsum till the head of the first metatarsal. This nerve will be known as that of saturnus nerve. And this is the fourth cutaneous nerve to supply the area of the dorsum of the foot. That is medial margin of the dorsum of the foot till the head of first metatarsal bone. That is saturnus nerve. So in short, four nerves, they supply cutaneous sensations to the dorsum of the foot. Number one, superficial peroneal nerve, dividing into two branches, each branch will then supply, number one, it will supply the medial side of the hallux or the dorsum of the hallux. Second, it will supply the cleft between second and third digit. Lateral branch again divided into two branches, each branch supplying the cleft between third and fourth and fourth and fifth digit. Second nerve is that of deep peroneal nerve. This deep peroneal nerve will supply the cleft between the first and the second digit. Third nerve, that will be of sural no, that sural nerve will supply the lateral margin of the dorsum till the fifth toe and the fourth branch is that of the saturnus nerve which will supply the medial margin of the dorsum till the head of the first metatarsal bone. So in this way the entire nerve supply of the dorsum of the foot is there. Thank you very much.